testing capabilities here. Starting in progress. Welcome, everybody. My name is Kristen Gomez, and I play the viola in the orchestra. I'm also the president of the board of the Arlington Philharmonic. Thank you so much for coming to our holiday postcards concert. You're going to see some wonderful videos from our musicians. We have nine separate videos to share with you. Enjoy of my colleagues in the orchestra. I also want to tell you that on January 28th, which is a Saturday night, we are having a fundraiser at the Bennett Atrium in Roslyn, and it will be a ticketed event, and it will feature our wind players in the orchestra. So I hope that you will attend this fundraiser and come enjoy the evening with our wind players. In March, specifically Sunday, March 5th, we're having a full orchestra concert at Washington Liberty. And all of you should definitely join us for that. So keep looking at our website, our Arlington Philharmonic website, um, stay on our mailing list. And most importantly, right now, make yourself comfortable. And so wonderful music of the Arlington Philharmonic. Thank you, Scott, for your leadership and Rachel for all the work you do on the board. So welcome everybody and let's get started. Thanks so much, Kristen. We're gonna to start tonight by listening to a video by the Tolsons. The, um, Tim Tolson, Mary Tolson are a husband wife team that has played in our orchestra for many years. And um, for some of these, uh, videos that you're going to watch today, you're going to have um, introductions. And for some, I'll just say a, a couple of things. So in this case, we're going to hear three Christmas tunes. The first is Low How a Rose Air Blooming, which I know was actually requested by somebody coming to the event today. So I'm glad to uh, provide that to you. That's the beautiful um, old carol by Michael Pretorius. Um, that was a family favorite of mine, singing around the piano, which is a tradition we do every every year on Christmas. And then my favorite things by Rodgers and Hammerstein, or Hammerstein, I should check. Um, that's one of the uh, carols that, um, you know, has come from elsewhere, right? It's, it's just uh, um, a, a, sh a show tune that's made its way into sort of part of our, our Christmas canon. And there's a, there's a lot of great um, Hollywood and um, Broadway numbers like that that have also happened, including Have Yourself a Merry Christmas, which is the third of their three. So let me introduce the Tolsons, and I hope you enjoy. Hi, Arlington Hill oh. family. We're so happy to be here. <laughs> okay. And that was not the Tolsons. Okay, let me try again. Here we go. Hi, everyone. We are Mary and Tim Tolson from the Arlington Philharmonic. We've got a few of our favorite things to wish you a Merry Christmas and a joyful holiday season.
Wow, that's some beautiful playing. And um, from my favorite things, of course, from The Sound of Music and um, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas was the Julie, Judy Garland feature from Meet Me in St. Louis, which is a heartbreaking song. So what I love about it is it's been it's been um, re recycled and, and refreshed, um, rehabilitated, you might say. Uh, for ordinary Christmas use. And now we just take it to mean, have yourself a merry little Christmas. It doesn't make you cry as much as watching the original. Um, as we uh, move on to some other music here, um, I'm going to just, let's see, here we go. There we go. Here's our order. Yeah, um, I'm going to introduce um, uh, two videos by our principal clarinetist, Jeff Snavely. He's just going to say a little bit about what's going on. So let me play his first video and then um, and then I'll just talk about uh, talk a little bit about that. Um, one of the things that I like about this is most of the, the arrangements that you're hearing now are made by the musicians themselves or or borrowed in, in some way. So it's kind of part of the family tradition, you might say, of uh, going through uh, pieces and finding something that's new that they can uh, use, you know, so, something that's uh, pre-existing that they can use in a new format, maybe new instrumentation and bring their own um, their own life to it. So here's a, a piece that Jeff is going to introduce for you. Hi, my name is Jeff Snavely, and I'm the principal clarinetist in the Arlington Philharmonic. I've been playing there for over 25 years, and this is my wife, Melissa, on the piano. We'd like to play for you, Jesu Bambino. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, I think that's just a beautiful uh, Christmas carol. It's not quite a Christmas carol, right? It uses a little bit of "Oh, come, let us adore Him" um, yeah, in its uh, in its play out, but it's such a gentle piece, and it's kind of patterned on that um, on the on the pastoral symphony from the Messiah, and P its composer Pietro Ion was the organist at St. Patrick's Cathedral there on Fifth Avenue in New York City, where coincidentally my wife was less than a week ago. So, um, but that, that's just a beautiful um, sort of classical use of, um, of an old tune, of an old Christmas tune, uh, sort of in a new context, uh, composed in 1917. So uh, now the next one is very different. It's, 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 uh, it's actually a spring carol namely Good King Wenceslas, but it's come to be thought of as a Christmas carol. So there we have it. And in this is kind of a uh, jazz arrangement um, that Jeff has put together for us. Hi, my name is Jeff Snavely, and I'm the principal clarinetist in the Arlington Philharmonic. I've been playing there for over 25 years. And this is my- but You already knew that. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'm somehow giving you the wrong one again. Let me see if I can fix that. All right. Here we go. Uh, now, next up, we have um, some uh, some flute trios for you. We actually have our board, our hardworking board, um, has a number of musicians, some of whom play in the orchestra, some are just supporting the orchestra, uh, but are still very talented musicians, and they've put together um, a few tunes for you. Um, and the members of this group are Amy Thomas, who is a personnel manager, uh, also the vice president um, of the board, Rachel Warner, who's our treasurer, and Rachel, if for an extra shout out, is uh, working in the background um, with this uh, Zoom today, and our newest board member, who is Alyssa Williamson. They've got three tunes for you, so we'll start with uh, one of the holiday favorites, um, and actually the major source of income for ba ballet companies across the United States, which is the Nutcracker. We're just going to hear uh, the Sugar Plum Fairy first. I just read through the the uh, suite from the Nutcracker with my George Washington University Orchestra, um, and one of the things that's so funny about it is it's it's so well known by everybody, but it's so impossibly difficult. So it's a funny thing to to sight read for for a holiday party because everybody realizes that something that they 
take for granted in a sense and that they know inside out is still fiendishly difficult to play. So that's uh, Tchaikovsky for you. Okay, so here is the Sugar Plum Fairy. Happy holidays. I'd like to introduce us. We are the Arlington Philharmonic board member flute trio. And we will be starting with Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy, a holiday favorite, an arrangement by James Christensen. <laughs> Now, one of the things that kind of brings to mind is that there actually is something for three flutes in the Nutcracker, right? The, the Mirletons, the dance of the toy flutes. So they've chosen in, in this case to give us um, the Sugar Plum Fairy. And, and it's actually kind of interesting the way three flutes do impersonate a little bit the sound of the Celesta, which normally plays that particular part. In fact, we performed it last year. The um, And by the way, I learned that Tchaikovsky was so worried that Celesta was an, a brand new instrument and the Nutcracker was really its premiere. And uh, Tchaikovsky was so nervous um, that he kept it a secret because he was worried that Rimsky-Korsakov, um, his countryman and remarkable orchestrator, uh, would steal the Celesta sound and use the Celesta before he was able to premiere um the nutcracker so it's just one of those kind of backstage things that was going on at the time uh now we're going to hear the carol of the bells next and this is a very unusual arrangement of a beloved uh ukrainian uh, carol next we have carol of the bells this is an arrangement by Thomas Graff.
the things I really like about Christmas time is you've got all this, um, the, these great Christmas tunes that are already well known and, and sort of absorbed by everybody. So you can you can write a paraphrase like that that almost has nothing of the original in it, and yet people still make the connection. They hear the rhythm, they hear part of the melody, and it sort of connects to this iceberg of, of Christmas music that's also going on. Okay, the last tune we're going to hear from the flute trio is the Wassel Song, um, this famous uh, way of going around Christmas caroling and uh, and sort of shaming your neighbors into giving you free drinks and food uh, is is <laughs> is is for a wassailing. Here we come a wassailing. That's the the wassail song is a different one, but they're both for the same idea anyway. Next up is the wassail song, Here We Come a Wassailing, which is a traditional English Christmas carol. This is an arrangement by David Bussey. Okay, nicely cheerful. Okay, uh, now the next thing we're going to hear is in a different mood entirely because it's actually not Christmas music or Hanukkah music or holiday music of any kind. Um, it's a duo originally for clarinet and bassoon. And in this case, it was transcribed by uh, the Hendys. Uh, Sané and Jordan are our two coaches for um, there are lead coaches for the Crescendo program, which is our, our youth chamber music program, just put on a great concert the other day. Uh, and this, we have uh, what, I, I guess about 25, 30, something like that, young musicians who come together every week um, and rehearse in small groups and then and then perform together. The Hendys are, um, are in charge of that thing. And it, it's, it's quite an amazing, amazing project. So again, this is not Christmas music, but it just goes to show you one of the things that I love about the holidays is people's ears are, are just open a little bit more. And, um, and so especially classical music, um, that has such a long and rich tradition, it's able to reach into all these different corners to bring things together. Um, and so uh, now I introduce to you the Hendy family. Here again to play some music for you. My name is Sanaya Hendy, and I'm one of the head coaches uh, with the Crescendo program. And this is my husband. I'm Jordan, also one of the head coaches at Crescendo. We're really happy to play this piece for you. It's um, by Beethoven, and it was originally written for clarinet and bassoon. Um, and now arrange for violin and cello. We hope you enjoy. Thank you. 
I just to let you look at that picture do you notice the quasi music stands right so a lot of musicians are moving toward using iPads especially if they have a lot of music to tote around but this is the first time I've seen music stands that are specifically designed just for that purpose uh, so the world even though we're playing uh, sometimes music from hundreds of years ago even uh, we, we still have uh, lots of um, lots of progress to share as well Okay, uh, the next piece we're gonna we're gonna hear a little bit from Andy Wilson and his family, um, and Andy is our principal trumpet, and um, they always have a, a great mix. Uh, it's it's you know we have a lot of husband wife teams and, and so forth, but when we get the whole family into the mix, um, that's pretty special as well. Um, and they're going to uh, introduce the music for you here a little bit. Hello, my name is Andy Wilson. I'm a trumpet player with the Arms of Philomonic, and my family and I like to present you some performances of some holiday tunes. We're going to start off with uh, Kate and I playing, Kate playing viol, I playing the trumpet on arrangement of Sleepers Awake by J.S. Bach, BWV number 140. Then Lee, our son, playing alto saxophone with me, we're going to do an arrangement of Winter Wonderland. And finally, we're going to end with a trio arrangement of George Frederick Handel's 
joy to the world. I wish you all a very happy holidays and a wonderful new year. Thank you. All right, and all those arrangements again by by Andy himself. By the way, if you're wondering about that first piece, he was playing the the, the Bach um, Bachet Auf, um, beloved uh, chorale prelude. He was playing that on a piccolo trumpet, which is half as long as a regular trumpet. You were seeing it end on, so you you can't see the length of it, uh, which theoretically gives you an extra octave, but actually in reality, it only gives you a note or two, and the rest is just hard work, which is. Andy stock and trade. Before we share our last video uh, of the evening, I'd like to actually invite a musician on live here to talk with us just a little bit, and that's Jason Wright. So, Jason, there you'll pop right up. That's good, and um, and you'll need to unmute yourself as well, Jason. Thanks so much. Uh, Jason is not only bringing a family to this, but it's an international and ecumenical family, and I'm always blown away, not only by your creativity, but um, but frankly, your production values are quite amazing. So will you just tell us a little bit, Jason, about your process of, of bringing this together and how you guys managed to do such an amazing job? <laughs> sure. Um, 
yeah, so we, we have two tunes for you. We've got a um, very popular Hanukkah medley, uh, Maos Tzur, uh, Rock of Ages, and uh, Noel Nouvelle for Christmas. <clears throat> um, uh, I guess I should explain. Um, so our, my family, we're, we're members of uh, the Kolami uh, Reconstructionist uh, Synagogue. Um, here in Arlington, and I serve as a music arranger and co-director for the musicians in the congregation. And when, in the year 2020, we all know what happened. Um, so to keep things going musically, I had to learn how to put videos together with a bunch of different musicians playing in different places. So <clears throat> you'll see an example of that in, in our video. Uh, so it occurred to me something like this, you know, a, a horn duet is okay, but by compiling different, uh, different videos together, um, I can sort of create an orchestra of horns with, um, my wife, Erin, uh, and me playing different parts and recording them with a click track with an assist from our son who was in Fredonia, New York. He's a composition student at uh, SUNY Fredonia, and also a horn player. Um, and even we even managed to get our, our reluctant teenage daughter uh, involved. She uh, is a junior at Wakefield High School and studies voice with local soprano Melissa Mino. Um, so most of this was done with an iPhone, uh, with a little bit of work on the computer. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Jason, that's great. You should have a conductor next time too, by the way. <laughs> Consider that. Uh, and, you know, you may be aware of this, but uh, Melissa, I just did a concert with Melissa a couple of weeks ago, so. Yeah, yeah, we uh, so were hoping that, that was great. Um, all right, and I'm going to uh, bring, excuse me, I'm going to bring in. Uh, the mic's off. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being attacked by my Google device in the background. Um, uh, so I'm going to uh, play this for you. And I think it's wonderful the way you've got the whole family jumping in as well. So, uh, all right, let's see. So Jason, you better mute. Or thank you so much. We're getting a little bit of uh, sound back as well. And um, here is Jason and his wonderful family.
Wow, that is gorgeous, Jason. Thank you. Uh, and I think it's a tribute to the creativity that you had to have, that we all had to have during uh, COVID time to uh, learn some of these skills. It's really nice to be back together, but it's also still nice to have some of those some of those tricks in the bag um, since they uh, still enable us to share our music in new ways and, and reach uh, new people, including all the folks tonight were able to join us from uh, from all over the place uh, to be with us remotely. Um, this is a great uh, tradition and I, I, I quite love it. So, uh, and the last thing I'll do today as I'm gonna turn off the recording here in just a second, but it's invite everybody to, um, before you leave the room, to just jump in and say hi. Uh, happy holidays, everybody. Thanks for being with the Arlington Philharmonic and we hope to see you in January.